The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back, guys, for a playthrough of Doom Eternal. This is Final Sin, I guess. Destroy the Icon of Sin. All right. Um, not much of an introduction on this one. Oh, shit. Holy hell. Wow. Okay. So, we all know that I'm playing this on a relatively easy difficulty, right? In general terms. But, uh, I just wonder, how difficult is that thing? Like, if you were to face it on the hardest difficulty the game has to offer, I couldn't imagine. I had a feeling there was a secret around here. Just the way that this office thing is lined up. Is there a vent? A door? Let's see, how do I get to that? Oh, it's around that corner. Okay. Jesus. There's a totem and a... No, there's a sword up there. That's what that is. Okay. Alright, what do we got? Oh, I can't go in there. Jesus. Okay, first, let's see if we can pick off some of these guys, maybe. Yeah, screw it. Does not kill us is weak. All right. Oh, I missed that armor, didn't I? Or that health. I love how you just blow the chunks of their body off. It's truly, truly a work of art, isn't it? This guy. Where's the guy there? I was wondering who the hell was making those. Thought I got him. Alright, alright, right, what we got, what we got. Focus. Damn it. Nice. I thought I could grab onto that. Hopefully there's a big bad here, because I've got full sword ammo. And there's an extra sword swing over there. Beautiful. I have no idea how we're going to kill this Icon of Sin. The thing is bigger than big. I don't think by comparison he's the most powerful enemy that Doom Slayers ever faced. Not by a long shot. But I do wonder... Jesus. How this one compares to any experience with in the past. Because we fought it before, didn't we? I don't know. I feel like we did.
shit, there it is. Hey, big boy, gotcha. He was exactly who I was looking for about the sword situation. Oops, I actually did not mean to do that. They are just coming and coming and coming and coming. That's what she said. But from oh, this is a whole lineup of these guys. Yeah, is it? Oh God! Brilliant. I think that, for the most part, went fairly well. Okay, wasn't there... I thought maybe there was uh, some armor that I missed around here. Let's see. There's something over there. We'll go there in a second. There's, was it armor over here? No. Thought there was. Okay, whatever. If there was, I must have already grabbed it. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Is there anything around here? I missed that life back there. Wait. I wonder... Is it too late to get it? I'm curious. I might still be able to grab that. It's not too far away. We'll worry about that empowered demon in a second. There we go. Oh, wait, that's right. It's behind this thing. And we can't get there. That's right, that's right. I forgot. Okay. Got it, got it, got it. Alright, so he's probably just... Why does that open up like that down here? Ah, hidden armor shards. Okay. We can probably take our casual time with this. I can't hit them. There must be an invisible barrier protecting them because they're not even doing anything. Terrible shot. It's also really hard, I think, to use this with the joysticks. Ever since I've had a PC, I have been a PC gamer. Can I hit him from here? Nope. Okay. Still some shots going over there. The green is where we have to go. There's a... There's no secrets here, but there is an extra life. There's green way the hell over there. Oh shit. Oops. I can hear... Whatever. We have to get under... Not over there, but... It seems green right there, you see? I wonder... Nope. I thought I could jump up there. Okay, so the, oh, man, I keep forgetting about the climbing the wall thing. 
there's gotta be a creature over here. Jesus. Okay, so it's right next to me. There it is. What the hell is that noise? If you cannot stop him, Earth has no hope for survival. This is the closest thing we have to a sniper rifle. It's not much. So that life, where the hell, how the hell do I get to that? Is there a crack in the wall somewhere? Because you can see it right here. Oh, it comes from a vent. There's an opening somewhere. I don't think it's from over there. It's not a huge deal if I don't get it, because I don't think it's still, I don't think it constitutes as being a secret, but I do want to grab it just because I know I should. Screw it. I don't care. I care, but I don't care. Okay, I do care a little bit. Jesus. Okay, so from here, what does it want me to jump to? I guess that answers that. The Iconison is a freaking major monster. Whoa, shit. was cool. I don't think I've actually killed one of those things with this gun. I am skipping. Oh, I don't want to skip the book page. Oh, we're going up, I think. So that should be fine. Yep, there it is. Can someone kill this idiot, please? <laughs> I feel like we know who that is. Do we know her? I feel like we've encountered her. Oh, my brothers and sisters. Something wonderful is coming. Something truly wonderful. She's part of the UAC. So we've seen her, I think. Okay, we've got to read this. Vega data entry. The icon's presence warps reality, damaging the implicit order. Is that right? Implicit? Order of our dimension merely by existing within it. If the icon is allowed to remain unchecked, it would lead to the total devastation of Earth, followed by a breakdown of space-time around the planet. The resultant black hole will eventually drag our entire universe down, casting it into the mouth of hell as conquest to be absorbed by the Dark Realm. Oops. The con maker had taken measures to augment the Titan, installing maker technology throughout its structure to ensure it could be controlled. With the ritual interrupted, the icon is now fully unleashed, raging across Earth with hell until hell consumes all. No longer bound by the heart of the betrayer's son, the icon of sin is free from any measure of control that the makers might have once conceived. Only the Slayer prophesies an Argenta legend to stand against the icon can stop the apocalypse. God. I love the artwork of this thing, though. It is nasty. It's like a giant goat thing. What is it with goats and prophecies? I don't really understand. You ever had goat? Tastes good. I don't know why it's always used in biblical nature. Is God. Lemmy? Sounds familiar, but I don't recognize the reference. What do we have here? Anything? Is that freaking... Jesus. So just its mere presence threatens the fabric of reality and tearing it apart. What 
what is so special? Like, what... Team Slayer can handle anything, but I just don't know how he'd be able to take on something that size. It's like a fly going up against a literal giant. Hive Colony Solutions. Hilarious. I do love this, though, jumping between the buildings and stuff. I mean, I wish it wasn't necessarily as foggy so we could get a little more detail, but it's really cool. Oh. Yeah, see, what is that problem? Ever taken that thing down in two hits? Keeping all these guys in the doorway makes it easy to clear them all out. Oh, you bitches. Except when they're coming from all different directions. Shit, where's the buff totem? I gotta get that. Oh shit, there it is. That wasn't so bad. I was able to do a lot of damage to these fools before that totem even... Did it, did it appear? Was it already there? Or did it just show up? Because I didn't see it. Granted, I don't see a lot of things. Okay, do we have anything down here that I should grab? There's a sword up there. I'm already maxed on sword swings. Kind of disappointing you only can do three. Damn, that guy's got a laser swipe. Oh, what the hell? Okay, so there's a sword above. Okay, so I think we just have to go up anyway. Get the long way around, I suppose. What? When is that a thing? This big, fat, blubbery idiot. Rarely have I seen it style on night like that. What do we got there? I haven't seen any breakables. How is it? All those different areas are blocked off by these things, but I don't know. Like, we can't break that wall, so it looks like that big, gross creature thing. Yeah. Wait, was that... Nothing. I really don't know how to get in there. Whatever. We don't need it, but it would have been nice. Okay, up for a sword, which we don't need. We will, I'm sure, but we don't right a second. I want to get these guys all close together so I can totally wreck them. There's got to be... Oh, shit. What? No way! He's invulnerable to that thing? Oh shit, I had no idea about that. Missed him. Crazy, his shield blocks that sword. I had no clue, no idea about that. Treachery. 
archers. I'm glad the swings themselves don't count against you. You have to actually make contact. Okay, so the sword is up there. I hate that I didn't grab it, but I don't can't use it. Let's see what we got up here. Anything? Any secrets visible? Nothing. What is he saying? Alright, where are we here? Okay, I think this is a good point for us to stop. You know how I do. I like to break these episodes up into multiple parts so they're not too long. We will continue with a new episode of this particular mission of the playthrough for Doom Eternal tomorrow at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on the Mark 9 channel, part of Mark After Dark. Before you go, show some love, hit that like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, take a look at the description box. There's a few links that might be of interest to you, one of which is to my media website that I uh, design, manage, and write for, geekoutpost.com. Also, there's a link to the Mark and I Discord server if you're interested in chatting with me directly and being a part of that community. You can pop on over there. Otherwise, I appreciate your time and hope to see you when we continue with more Doom Eternal. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you next time. Later.